Hello everyone, today I will be analyzing the possible plastic surgery procedures of the members of Momoland. This was requested in the comment section of my Ice One plastic surgery analysis video. If you have any requests which group you want to see me analyze, please leave it in the comments. I think plastic surgery is neither bad or good, and celebrities has immense pressure to look as good as they possibly can which can be helped by plastic surgery. I think it will be a healthier environment if celebrities in general are more open and honest about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures that they've done, or at least not lie about it, so the general public can see that beauty is attainable through plastic surgery. I know there's a stigma around plastic surgery all around the world, but people need to realize that it's pretty common among celebrities, as it's demanded by society that celebrities look perfect, so we shouldn't blame them if they resort to plastic surgery. I want this video series to be a form of discussion between people who are interested in the possible procedures celebrities had, and break the negative sentiment around plastic surgery. I assume that many celebrities, including K-pop idols, have done some sort of cosmetic procedures because their occupation demands them to look as good as they possibly can. I may be totally wrong about this assumption as I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. A few disclaimers before we begin. I'm not a plastic surgeon, nor have I gotten plastic surgery, so my knowledge in this area is limited. These are just my speculations and not facts. I have no idea about the member's medical history, and these are just my speculations, so you can respectfully disagree. This post is not meant to send hate to the members, as they are probably pressured by the industry to look as good as they possibly can. With that out of the way, let's get started. I couldn't find many pretty big photos of Hyobin, and it seems like she was old enough to get plastic surgery in the pretty big photos available, so I might miss some procedures. Other than her hairstyle, she didn't seem to change much from the pretty big days. The biggest change of her face is the volume of her face. This may be caused by weight loss and the natural aging process of losing baby fat, though there's also a possibility that she got partial buccal fat removal. She likely gets fillers to her top and bottom lips. Sometimes her lips fluctuate in size. I think she may have gotten double eyelid surgery, as her eyelid crease are deep and consistent. This is not a reliable way to judge this though, as I don't have reliable pre debut photos of her to compare with. I think Heaven may have gotten a rhinoplasty. I think this way mostly because of how her current nose looks. From the side profile view, her nose bridge and the bottom of her nose form perfectly straight lines. This doesn't usually occur in nature. This was likely caused by a nose implant. In conclusion, I think Hebin got fillers to her top and bottom lips and rhinoplasty. There's also a possibility that she got double eyelid surgery and partial buccal fat removal. I'm really unsure of my speculations as there is a lack of pre debut photos of Hebin. She looks great regardless. Moving on to Yonu. Yonu has a lot of pretty beat photos online. She has always been pretty. It seems like she was old enough to get plastic surgery in most of the pretty beat photos, so I might miss some procedures. I think she got double eyelid surgery, as when her eyes are not fully open, we can see a clear consistent line on her eyelid crease. This is usually a sign of double eyelid surgery. I don't have proof of this though, as there is a lack of reliable pretty beat photos. Since becoming an actress, I think Yonu got a rhinoplasty. Her current nose looks a lot sharper and straighter compared to the pre debut photos. Her nose bridge used to have a slope, while her current nose is straighter. She may have already gotten a rhinoplasty in the pre debut photos, as there is a clear separation of her nose bridge and the tip of her nose from the rest of her nose. Yonu's face seemed to be narrower now, especially at the cheekbone area. She likely got cheekbone reduction. Her chin also looks slightly smaller now. She likely got a chin reduction to make her chin less square and prominent. In conclusion, I think Yonu got two rhinoplasties, cheekbone reduction, and a chin reduction. There's also a possibility that she got double eyelid surgery. She has always been pretty. I hope she is happier now as an actress. Moving on to Jane. The pretty bee photos of Jane I found are blurry, and it seems like she was old enough to get plastic surgery in the pretty bee photos, so I might miss some procedures. I suspect that she may have gotten double eyelid surgery, as when her eyes are not fully open, we can see a clear consistent line on her eyelid crease. Her lips also look slightly fuller now, she likely got fillers to her top and bottom lips. I think Jane may have gotten a rhinoplasty. I think this way mostly due to how her current nose looks. Her nose looks perfectly straight from the side profile and three quarters view, 
This doesn't usually happen in nature and was likely caused by a nose implant. In conclusion, I think Jane likely got fillers to her top and bottom lips and a rhinoplasty. There's also a possibility that she got double eyelid surgery. She looks great both pre-debut and now. Moving on to Teha. Teha participated in Produce 101. The pre-debut photos available looks like she may be old enough to get plastic surgery, so I might miss some procedures. Her cheeks look to have lost a lot of volume compared to her mom land days. She may have gotten partial buckle fat removal. I think this way because the change is pretty extreme. Her nose also looks slimmer now. She likely got a rhinoplasty. In conclusion, I think Teha got partial buckle fat removal and a rhinoplasty. She looks amazing both free to be and now. I also hope she is happier after leaving the group. Moving on to Nayun. Nayun has more pretty to be photos online compared to some of the other members so far. She has always been adorable. The biggest change to her face are her eyes. Her current eyes are larger vertically compared to the pre debut photos. I think she got toasted repair with subtle double edit surgery to achieve this look. It's not that obvious when her eyes are fully open, but when her eyes are not fully open, we can see a clear consistent line on her eyelid crease, which is usually a sign of double edit surgery. I think Nayeon got a rhinoplasty sometime after her debut as her current nose bridge looks more projected to how it previously looked. From the side profile view, her nose looks over projected to me as the nose bridge and the bottom of her nose form perfectly straight lines. This doesn't usually happen in nature. In conclusion, I think Nayeon got tosis repair with double eyelid surgery and a rhinoplasty. She has always looked amazing. I love her adorable visuals. Moving on to Daisy. Daisy has adorable pretty beat Selkas online. She has always been pretty. She looks old enough to get plastic surgery in some of the pre debut photos, so I might miss some procedures. She doesn't look to change much from the pre debut photos. I found one childhood photo of her, and in this photo she has monolids and smaller eyes. She likely got double end surgery paired with ptosis repair. Her nose has always been tall since childhood. So, I think her nose is probably natural. In conclusion, I think Daisy got double eye surgery with ptosis repair. The possible procedures were really well done. They look natural. She has always been pretty. I hope she is also happier now that she left the group. Moving on to Jui. Jui admitted to getting a rhinoplasty once. This admission was done a long time ago. So I will still be analyzing for possible plastic surgery as I find that she looks pretty different compared to how she used to look like. The most obvious change are her eyes. She has larger double eyelids now when she used to have small double eyelids. She likely got double eyelid surgery. Her lips are also a lot fuller now. She likely got fillers to her top and bottom lips. Dewey may have gotten another rhinoplasty as I find that her current nose looks more projected compared to how it used to look like. She revealed that her first rhinoplasty was done using her ear cartilage. This method can usually cause the body to absorb the cartilage and make the result less visible, which is why her nose looked really natural before possibly getting the second rhinoplasty. The second rhinoplasty looks more aggressive. Her nose looks a lot more projected now. This was likely caused by a nose implant or using the rib cartilage. The results of these methods are usually more obvious and long-lasting as the body doesn't absorb the materials used as much. In conclusion, Julie admitted to getting a rhinoplasty once, and I think she likely got double eyelid surgery, fillers to her top and bottom lips, and another rhinoplasty after admitting to the first rhinoplasty. She looks great now. I love how she was not ashamed to admit that she got a rhinoplasty. Moving on to Ahin. Ahin has more pre debut photos available online compared to the other members so far. But the photos are pretty blurry, so I might miss some procedures. She had a dramatic transformation because of her weight loss and change in style. I think she looks amazing now, as her confidence seems to have increased drastically. She has always had double eyelids. I think her eyelids are likely natural. Her lips seem to be fuller now. She likely got fillers to her top and bottom lips. Ahin's nose looks natural to me. Her nose bridge is not perfectly straight and her nose didn't seem to change at all from the pre debut photos. I personally don't see other changes to her face that are likely due to plastic surgery. 
In conclusion, I think Ahin got filler to her top and bottom lips. She has always looked great, both before and after her transformation. I'm glad she became a lot more confident because of the transformation. Last but not least, we have Nancy. Nancy has a lot of adorable pretty bit content online. She has always been pretty. She is mixed race, which is why her features are different to most South Koreans. Nancy's weight seems to fluctuate throughout her career, which is why her face is sometimes fuller. Her lips are fuller now. She likely got fillers to her top and bottom lips. Her nose tip looks a lot more projected now compared to the pretty before those. I'm not sure if this was caused by rhinoplasty or just due to the natural aging process, as people's nose do get larger and taller with age. Other than that, I don't see other changes to her face that are likely due to plastic surgery. In conclusion, I think Nancy likely got fillers to her top and bottom lips, and possibly a rhinoplasty, though I'm really unsure about the rhinoplasty. She has always looked amazing. I love her sleepy eyes and her amazing smile. Remember, when I do these analysis, I'm always at the neutral position. I don't think plastic surgery is bad nor good, so let's not spread unnecessary hate towards the members or my opinions. I hope anyone watching this takes this post in a positive way and realize that plastic surgery is not a bad thing. You need to understand that K-pop idols and other celebrities have a lot of pressure to look good, so it's not a bad thing if they resort to plastic surgery, as it is demanded by society. As I stated in the beginning, this is not meant for fuel to send hate towards the members. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next one.